this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today I am going to be showing a flip through of a finished book. I that this book took me over a year to complete. It's actually not a book, it's a magazine from Penny Press called Designing Colors. And the the uh, theme for this magazine is that every page is a um, a random pattern. So there are 39 patterns in here. I can tell you that I tore out at least two pages because uh, I think I didn't like doing, I didn't want to do the, the pictures. I, I don't do that very often unless it is really necessary for me to. So, started this book in April of 2019. And I will only say something if I, if I feel the need to. Just let you look at the patterns. I'll also let you know if I tore out a page. Pages are perforated so we can tell. I didn't like that one. Yes. I wasn't too thrilled with doing this book one. And I think that's one of the pages I tore out further along was another page that was full of books. This one was done in pencil. Now all my patterns, I choose my colors randomly. Um, Obviously this one wasn't random. It's a picture of leaves and so I just chose different colors of green to do it. But for the majority of them going forwards now, I randomly select colors. Here I was picking five um, permanent markers. And uh, this one I just decided I was going to put pink icing and a red cherry. Because this one has like uh, tea time pictures hidden in it. I don't really like that kind of pattern. This one turned out really nice. That's one of my favorites. Again, colors are always random. Now those colors ended up working together very well. Here's another one where I chose the greens because it was le leafery foliage. <laughs> We're still in 2019 actually for this book. Now these colors were pretty ugly when I looked at them, but they ended up going together uh, not too badly. Another iffy choice of random colors, but they usually work together. This was just a mess of a page. I haven't ripped any out so far. Maybe I only ripped out one. You get some strange color combinations that oddly work. And sometimes you get these perfect patterns. Now this was actually for a challenge where you were to get the uh, 24 box of Crayola. Random Crayola 24. I'm not sure what that means. But we were supposed to use super tips and we were supposed to randomly pick the colors one color out and color a page so I decided to do that in here. And this is my first page in 2020. Now I'm not sure if I was following this pattern all along but I know I was by this time and what I did was I colored two patterns every month That's an odd pattern. Not exactly my neatest coloring going on in these books, but 
I had fun with them and that's all that matters. Random colors. This one I really like. I ended up doing it quite neatly except for that some sleeping, the sleeping colorist visited here, did a little bit of scribbling. Yeah, a few places where she did, but surprisingly it didn't mess up the, didn't mess up the page. Yeah, I wasn't too sure about these colors, and they're pretty garish, but they do work. And I have to tell you that at some point, actually, no, I don't know where, what point. Yeah, it wasn't. Let's see if I can figure out the point where it started. Okay, it was it was with this one. I guess that's why I like it. I uh, I changed. I wasn't picking out five uh, random markers anymore. I was picking out three markers and two gel pens, I believe. Yeah, there's orange and the blue. Yep, that's what I was doing. <laughs> We forget so soon. So I was picking out two random gel pens and three random markers to give the pages a bit more interest and I am liking them better now. The glitter or the shine, I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm trying. There, I think that way works. You can see the glitter. Now, except here's where I ripped out a page, and I believe I did this on on camera. It was. I'm pretty sure it was a book page. Here's one with a whole bunch of uh, items in it. Did not enjoy doing those. These colors turned out well. Purples and browns. Oh, it's like, there we go. You can see the shine, hey. You usually can't get that to happen. And this one worked out really well. Okay, I'm not going to show you the shine on every page, but yeah. <laughs> okay, and then this is where I ripped out the other page. This is the one that I did on screen. The other one I didn't. So I ripped out two, so for 39, I actually did 37. This is where I started this month in October. So I did this one and this one was actually this is actually the page at the uh, at the end of the book no it was the other one I ripped off on screen this one I ripped out because it was just a totally awful pattern that I did not want to do it wasn't a pattern pattern it had things in it and I just didn't want to do it that was the case so anyways this page in the book as I was working through the book and I got to a a gel pen or a marker that was uh, pretty much getting to the end of being done, I would finish it up on this page. And then when I got here, there were, uh, there was still some space to be filled up. So I picked some colors that were colors that came out of what was already there and kind of tied it together. And that is the end of the book. So I am now started on a, another pattern book and 
I think I did two this month, so with the one in here, that'd be three patterns. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye!